do like a wrestler spiral rise. So what he's going to do, he's going to be stretching Eric out. And as he does this, he's going to sit through. Flat now, there you go. Got him on the side. With the right hand, you're going to get through there. Somehow you're going to get your lapel. There are a lot of ways to get it. We're just doing the basics. I'll lift up so you can everybody see that. So everybody see he's got a nice tight lapel grip there, lapel strangle. Now, with his right hand, the lapel strangle. With his left leg, he's going to filter in. He's going to trap Eric's right arm. Okay, now as he does this, I'm going to get around here. Now, there are a couple ways to do it. You want to do the, the spiral right yeah. first. All right, now, with his left hand, He's going to do like a wrestler spiral rise. So what he's going to do, he's going to be stretching Eric out. And as he does this, he's going to sit through. Flat now, there you go. There. Right hand there. He's easing up because he didn't want to choke Eric so bad because it is nasty. Laces through. Now, he's really got Eric tied up on the upper body. Now, here's where it gets kind of nasty. You're going to flatten him out. See the left hand here for the spiral rise? He's going to trap in there, turn his palm up. And you can see it just swims through. Okay, let's look at that now. Let's come over here and let's look over here. Now look how he's trapped this. Now his left hip is going to turn in the direction forward. That's why we call it a Koshi Jume. It's a hip choke because you're using the hip quite a bit. 